Moshi Moshi Mime Gamers and welcome back to Zelda Zone Zero. Today we're gonna do Tanchi Story Quest. First we're gonna have a lot of people like usual, start with Nicole. Are you there? Hello? I'm here, I'm here. What's up with this man? I thought you were difficult for a sec. Wanna hang out? Sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go to Box Galaxy. Okay, so we said set this up. Let's just do this. Yeah, what up, Nicole? What are you here? I'm feeling good now. I love you getting a new edition. Yeah, let's go first ball call for the day. Which country should you try? The one left or on the right? Don't have the power of your choice. Even these people have still a different direction. So which one we got to take today? The one on the left or the one on the right? Left. I mean, right. The one on the right? Now nah, I gotta be about that. I'm going for the left. Why don't you just go for the one on the left? I've got to check in here first since you're part of the conversation too. Your only settle is a familiar prophecy. Let's see what comes out. This is... What a people want. Now what do you have him? Well, I'm not really bad that I can't just sell a second hand. Let's go again. I'll put on the good for today in line. Okay, you play a gacha machine with Nicole. Nicole gets pretty lucky and wants quite a few well ones. Okay. Alright, there's enough for today. Hey lady, when you have a self control look like you never go too far. Let's put it to sell again sometimes. Good idea. Now let's go to Ellie because she's outside of my store with the uh, watching a movie. Hey Ellen, all of the maid dresses with me. Hilarious. Do you want boba tea milk or mint tea milk? <gasps> boba! Um, boba tea milk then. <laughs> Here yeah. you go. Let's go inside and watch Enter the Ether. I'm tired from standing so long. Together? Oh, you want to watch it together? I figured you'd rather watch stuff by yourself. Eh. Is that really a thing? It's the same to me either way, so let's watch it together if you're free. Let's watch it together then. Sure. I'm not too busy right now, and I haven't finished watching this one yet. Let's watch it together. Yeah, you watch e Enter the Ether with Ellen. Ellen sleeps through two thirds of the story. Does she find the plot boring? What did you want to watch it then? Uh, your sofa is so comfy. That's your review. What's your review of the movie? Is that what you should be focusing on? Are you sure you wanted to watch this movie and not just find a place to slack off? Because the first ten minutes were about the proxy getting infected with a virus. After that, the proxy fell into a deep sleep. Everything that followed was the proxy's dream. But that's true. That's the plot. But the movie focuses on the proxy's travels in a world full of binary numbers and bizarre dreams. I only wanted to watch the movie to learn more about proxies. Since the part after that is a dream, I might as well listen to you tell me about your dreams. That would be more immersive. Um, it's not like it's documentary. Well, it wasn't a documentary. It's too bad you fell asleep. I wanted to discuss our thoughts on the movie. Ah, I'm sorry. I've had a lot of commissions lately and I've been busy right up until a little earlier today. I was going to go back and get some rest, but I remembered that we agreed to meet up today, so I came right over. I thought the tea milk would help me stay awake. I didn't fall asleep at the beginning. Or maybe I just thought I didn't. I saw the proxy guide us in the hollow, and then we fell into a fissure. And inside the fissure, there was a bang boo that dropped candy. Oh, and it was the candy I was eating when we worked together for the first time. It was so real that I didn't even realize I'd fallen asleep. Anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't expect to be hearing about your dreams. Hearing you talk about your dreams feels strange. Like I unexpectedly got to watch two films today. Uh, I'll come watch another film with you when I don't have any commissions on. If you fall asleep again, go on my knees. Oh, you're gonna sleep on top of- <gasps> She can put more movies too? I'm not just- Are you saying these people I'm- Hang out with like a- What? I guess she is. Hey, what's funny? She's wearing a maid dress. She could seduce them, but hey, buy the movie, bitch. Let's go to Koran again for the next one. Uh, you sh you can be lately. Do you have time to beat up? Well, I have been also thinking about beating up with Master Proxy. Is there anything you like to go? Hmm. Listen about the wedding play. Can I come in the story? I thought really one thing is that I want to ask you about. It's probably taking you about an hour. Sure, we'll have some. Page. Well, I always on the same page, Cohen. I hope fill your energies when we meet. See how the village reach the story too. We can pick out this time. Well, time comes, I'll be waiting for you outside the island place. Yeah, wait now. It's not a big deal. You're all inside, right? Okay, anyways. She's like all the way downstairs, ain't she? This is my guess. Uh, uh, no, she's outside. I go in. She's staying there. 
Master Foxy, you fell for it. Actually, there was nothing special I really do for you. Because you fell to your story, so I thought maybe you could also. Okay. So, what's up then, Koi? Oh, so what about about the house you learn on? It must be you always look for me. And so, I'd like to do something to show you my gratitude. Maybe I can help you with some cleaning work. Uh, I mean, in the story. I thought you'd definitely say no if he's coming out next to you. Miss Rita said I had to on my mind, so she came up with a plan for me to come back to your story. I would be so be stupid not to hear a man at the front doors of the boots. Miss Rita was so self aware when she said this. Even though I'm not very good at this, I did clean, so I believe I'm doing for you. For you. Let me count you in. Why sometimes say that to me? Really? They are all worried about the mighty feeling stuff that shouldn't write? Ah! The professor doesn't take that! There's no way that you have your magazine stuff behind your father or head under the rug. Uh, I'm so sorry, I should have said that. So let's get started by cleaning then. You clean the way and put together with Cohen. You feel as thought you haven't really been helped at all, but Cohen doesn't seem to mind at all. All done! All oh, dirty shit, it's Cohen. How does it feel, Master Posse? Does it feel that you've already since been moved your shoulders? This should also help with the bills of the story, right? It's good to be to help you like this. If you need more help next time, please be sure to let me know. I'll tell you how next time. Uh, Okay, that was a little slow. Next person. Oh, let's hang with the president! Hey! You there? I've been in the middle of the budget meeting, so since Grace has I haven't done much yet. What's up? Let's hang out, president. Not now, wait a minute, but where are we going? The 101 could be stone. Okay, I feel like good in sweet. Uh, feeling stressed out? Let's talk about the person. Anyway, we'll be in for right? What, what, what time works for you? Uh, in the morning. Because why not? You're always like right there, so... Yep, there she is. There's the president. I got it for free. I got his eye between the command So I just chose her because I just want to fire my team. I like, president? Hey, you're here! My own experience tells me. My screen is constantly slowing down. Something bothering you? Come on, sorry, was it obvious? Nothing major, just a minor faulty that, that I got covered at that work. I worry about the mentality, so I try my best to control it and not pass emotion to others. So I just had to stop out for some ice cream. I will eventually you time, time to join me. The ice cream is all on me, of course. What flavor else do you like? Hmm. Uh, sea salt caramel. A full proof choice, but do I get the same? Yeah, some ice cream would collide by the side of the road. Judging by our expression, the ice cream was particularly good. Is it just my imagination? Why do I feel like more people have started buying ice cream since we stood here? It's good that everyone loves ice cream too, huh? <laughs> or oh, maybe we got a gift that people will cut me when we come over here. <laughs> Alright, let's begin with this one. The Philosopher doesn't seem to have much traffic today, so the two decide to watch the move to kill time. Aww, this part is so touching. At the moment, the sister knocks on the door. Bubbly voice. Hello, can you knock the dog? Got a problem? Call NSP, SP, SP, Community Service at your doorstep. Please open up. Ah, oh, why do you have to show up behind the climb of the film? Why did you get the door? I'm still early in the story. Okay, I was looking to do TikTok. I was bored. Okay, okay, fine. Who's at the door? Hello? Hello, the hell? The boat, the bit. Oh, wait, never mind. Did we? We want the service for security? I'm not scratching away for your service. Is that. Can you see? Sounds strange. Wait, that was. Oh. Okay. Pleased to meet you. I'm Public Security Officer Ching Yi. May I know the specific request you have for Public Security Community Service? Shh, hold on for a sec. Oh, is that you, Manager? My apologies. I didn't recognize you while I was in autopilot mode. What are you two? If even androids can understand the meaning of life, then perhaps humans can too. Ugh, finished. What a classic! What are you watching so intently? Uh... Okay. Um... And being the two, have you seen it, Kenji? I've been meaning to recommend it to you. Wait, nah, I won't say that. Uh, this is kind of a classic you can watch over and over again. And bring her too. It's the kind of classic you can watch over and over again. Oh, is the film that captivating? One moment. Just give me a second... And... done. I've watched it. For a second? It's about an E-800 model android protecting a little girl amidst the perilous apocalypse, supporting each other through thick and thin. They gradually become attached to one another, but in the end, have no choice but to part ways. Hmm. The plot's decent enough, I suppose. Ugh, did you search for spoilers? That's not how you're supposed to watch movies, officer! I didn't look up spoilers. I simply extracted the movie from the database for data analysis and pattern recognition. 
Master, this is technical jargon of an advanced artificial consciousness. Allow me to translate for you. Go yes. On. Ching Yi essentially read spoilers. The smart voice assistant you two are using seems to have quite the unique personality setting loaded into it. Ah, oh, right. I happen to have a work-related matter which requires your assistance. I need to borrow some tapes to further analyze human behavior. Horror movies what? to be exact. Oh. With mysterious forces at play, the more the better. It's for Public Security's Community Service Program. Uh, is it possible to take these access to those from the database? Can't you directly access those from a film database? I can tell you find the whole thing a little unusual too. But I assure you that such background data is required for my task. Since I've taken it on, I should be somewhat serious about it. Even if this community service itself is, um, dull. So that's why you activated autopilot mode. If only I could handle tedious tasks while also catching up on some sleep. Tedious. Ha. Ha. As if the mere word tedious could encompass everything. It all began when the bigwigs at public security realized that no matter how many decrees they make, Internaut is still unstoppable. As a result, who else other than Officer Juyuan proposed a strategy of guiding rather than blocking? Citizens have a real need to face the hollows and can't always turn to public security for everything. So Internaut has naturally appeared to meet those needs. If only every public security officer could dedicate a set amount of time to community service, helping citizens with their actual problems. Once we establish trust between citizens and public security, then the plan to completely eradicate Internaut will have taken its first step. Oh, that's a great strategy. Uh, oh, that's a great strategy. How commendable of Drew Yuan. Having such an officer serving us really brings peace of mind. It is a good plan. However, for some reason, I sense that you two might not be completely sincere. Never mind. I suppose I'm not entirely sincere myself. <coughs> mainly due to the absurd demands citizens are making. For example, testing whether their fiancé would flirt with other women behind their back. Or, I suspect there's some mysterious force at work on 6th Street. Please deal with it, officer. What's worse is my assigned partner today. Ugh, that guy. One second he's proclaiming that though community service seems a little trivial, he's determined and dedicated to taking up that task. Then, before I even finished a sip of hot water, he goes bolting off on another case somewhere else. Like a gust of wind weaving through the mountains. Ah, <sighs> young people these days. Yeah, yeah, one. Okay, um... We need to find skills to join the investigation. Teaming up with a public security officer to solve cases. It's just like a plot from a movie. Sounds exciting. Count me in. I never expected the manager to be interested in such things. I think Bro just wants to show off and strut around with a public security badge pinned on his coat. If the manager is willing to assist, it would indeed be a great help to me. However, giving you a badge is out of the question. Nominally appointing you as an assistant public security officer, though, is a possibility. <laughs> then you can leave the store to me for the day, bro. And I'll go ahead and clear up the other community service appointments first. Let's meet on the street later. Yeah, surely. Why here? You, oh, we're talking to a girl, apparently. Her name is Holly? Um. Oh, but, uh, could I? Uh, but that sound shouldn't be so stubborn as fuck. Why don't you tell me about it first, Holly? Okay. No need to jump to any strange conclusions, Holly. Just tell me what's the matter. Uh, okay. Actually, it's about my good friend Teddy. He's been missing for several days now. Missing? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any filed reports about a missing person in this area. Have you been to the public security office with your parents recently? No, we haven't. Dad said since we just moved away from the old metro zone, we don't have the resources to deal with Teddy right now. But, but I'm really worried. I've never gone so long without seeing Teddy before. Hmm. But boy, it's like what boy is the right thing to do, Holly. Reporting it was the right thing to do, Holly. The assistant public security officer is right. A disappearance is not a trivial matter and must be handled by public security. Do you have a photo of Teddy? Yes! I have tons! At least I did. But during our move, because we were in a hurry to catch the evacuation train, all our luggage was 
not a problem. Now, I will ask you a few questions. You must think carefully. The more accurate your answers, the higher the chance we will find Teddy. Understand? Let's start. Height? Weight? Teddy is exactly 20 centimeters shorter than me, so he's 101 centimeters tall. He's heavier than me, about 32 kilograms. Can you describe the color and style of clothes Teddy was wearing when he disappeared? A blue shark onesie! Blood Mole has an answer to all uh, Kalanchi's questions. Following the description, Ching Li stretches Teddy's physical. It turns out that Teddy is a bamboo. So, Teddy must look something like this, right? Does it? A, a, a sketch uh, Kenshi made in accordance to Holly's description. So Holly's friend's Teddy is actually a bamboo. Wow, you can really draw, Miss Officer. That's Teddy! But, but he, he's been gone so many days. Do you think we can still find him? Your case is now accepted, Citizen Holly. Oh, th thank you so much! Dad told me that the officers at Public Security wouldn't have time for this sort of thing. Don't worry. Public Security Officer Ching Yi will be on the case. But there's one last question I need you to answer. Can you do that for me? Okay. When and where did you last see Teddy? It, it was at the Gravity Cinema. I wanted popcorn, so Teddy went out to buy some. I, I waited until the movie was over, but Teddy never came back. Gravity Cinema? Hmm. That's right next to the branch office, and yet a disappearance happened. Hmm. It does seem strange. Let's go investigate. That does seem strange. Let's go investigate. Good. But first, I need to escort Holly home. Let's meet later near Gravity Cinema in Lumina Square. Ooh. Alright. Watching a movie together? But not really. Alright, hey officer, I'm here. Uh, what the hell was I? Uh, can you speak English? I don't understand anything you just said. But what the fuck? Ella is such a please hold on. Ah, uh, it's you, manager. I just finished up scanning at the 283,019 civilian camera footage in this area. That was incredible. I see we extracted footage from the drive before data and plan recognition. Actually, I did find some footage of Teddy, but it's kind of weird. It, it's Teddy's walking out of the center with Parker and Todd, cracking his neck around and door, looking for something. The last paper was seeing his right heel in the parking lot. After those other has passed, we still perform the thought of his this area. Leave it to me. Young people always full of energy. I always um, leave this up to you to have an assistant officer. I'm going to go out and other students for and see if I'm saying Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, okay, let's start with over here. Okay, why the trash can? That's kind of hilarious. I think there's anything inside the trash can. Huh, I never thought the trash could be this thing. That looks like any clues that's been left behind here. Duh, oh, man, I wish it was like that in my place. Well, my city. Empty. Why am I checking down here? Anti bottle? Maybe just me has some DNA from the suspect. Let's give it to Sanchi. You set the button to the evidence bag. Um okay. So what about next to my car? Open snack. But just some snacks, but maybe there's some sort of focus on it. Let's hand to you check that. You put the open snack into the evidence bag. That's number two. Um the next one. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and check. No, you're looking on the alleyway. That's kind of sus. Artifact poster? It's Alpha poster. I think it has a birth of the lock. Well, no waste. The jungle book of trash. Let's take it home. I'm gonna take it home. I guess not as ever the Wait. That's it? Really? What about that over there? But I guess not. Hey, I poker. I'm like, huh? Oh, hey. Judging from your appearance, it seems like you found something. Quite a few things. Impressive, huh? I found quite a few suspicious items. Please assess them. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Hmm? Manager, why did you pick up so much trash? Uh, don't tell me you thought all this was evidence. Uh, trash? Trash? <sighs> so it's all useless. Hmm. Seems not just anyone can be an officer. Completely normal for a first investigation. After all, evidence doesn't just fall from the sky, you know. Let me analyze these videos. Then together with... Hmm? Wait a minute. What's that in your pocket? This? 
In all of the poses that almost didn't make it, it say it's a Holly and Teddy. It was a pill some Teddy has out the day with the missing. It doesn't do anything special. What clue does it hold? That seems interesting. It's a signed poster. I picked it up earlier. It's a signed poster and seemed collectible, so I thought I'd take it home. It has value as a collectible? Hmm. Then it shouldn't have been discarded so carelessly for you to find like that. Hmm. Without the manager's deep knowledge of films, I might have overlooked this detail. The handwriting is a bit smudged, but you can still make out to Holly. If it was dropped by Teddy, it's worth further investigation. Let me scan it. Look, there's residue of a strong reaction from highly active etheric matter. Quite a significant amount, too. An item outside a hollow contaminated with such a high concentration of etheric residue. This actually makes our search easier. I've also made some progress. I discovered a suspicious vehicle that was parked here when Teddy disappeared. If it's related to the disappearance, then the vehicle might also be contaminated with etheric residue. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, sure. Wait, this car? Next to mine? Huh. Didn't think about that. Very good, Assistant Public Security Officer. We quickly tracked down the suspicious vehicle. As I suspected, there's residue of a strong reaction from highly active etheric matter on the rear wheels. Hmm. Uh, are we going to arrest this, uh, the suspect then? Oh, then are we ready to go arrest the suspect now? Huh? No, that's not how this works. Criminal investigation requires concrete evidence. We need to keep calm, Assistant Officer. Etheric residue is indeed suspicious, but this is new eridue after all. There are various causes for contamination with etheric residue. We can't quite deem it something particularly strange at this stage. No worries. I'll handle surveillance of the car. I don't need to sleep anyway. Uh, even if it's you, Titi, don't overdo it. Is it really okay to work continuously like this? Even if it's you, Chingy, don't overdo it. Hmm. Ju Yuan always expresses the same. It's just unnecessary concern. Everyone is acting like this. Ju Yuan, Holly, and now even the manager. Humans are indeed an interesting species, projecting so much emotion onto things that are not even alive. Though helping citizens is part of a public security officer's duties, Teddy is just a bang boo. In the end, the existence of intelligent machines is to be discarded in place of humans when danger arises. Take me, for example. Despite being an advanced model known as a 01NG6 criminal investigation automaton, I'm essentially just a bang boo with more complex functionality. And regarding life and death, I believe Teddy and I are identical. Neither of us actually cling to it. I really didn't expect Holly to be so upset. Hmm. Um... That's not the purpose of intelligent machines' existence. I'm no expert, but the purpose of intelligent machines definitely isn't just to be discarded. Hmm, a most interesting species indeed. Don't worry, Bang Boo or Automaton, we are not as fragile as humans. Today's investigation was very fruitful. With these leads, we can apply for an official search warrant from Public Security. If there's anything I need help with in the future, I'll be sure to contact you. I'll be leaving now. Oh, well, I see you later. What you do up here waiting for me? I'm like, I'll go back home. I, I see you haven't managed to complete such an internet yet. How's it going? Taylor's pen is turning into quite the mystery. In any case, I still do think that we'll bring up some good little pop sec. Although it's also the unfair out to you as Zil Yan. No one sees that new would do. All we can do is wait for him to get back to us. Yes! Ever since checking out the vehicle, Jenny hasn't been in contact. And just because occurred to me, I wonder if Teddy's been found yet. In the moment, there was a sudden knock at the door. Hello, sir, brother. It's a public security community service. Uh, it's country. Hey! Open the door. Uh, you don't have to say anything. She sounds smaller than this time, doesn't she? Hey, which we put this community service? No. Pleased to meet you. I'm public security officer Ching Yi. Please tell me the specific request you have for public security community service. Oh my god, that's all I'm just saying. Really? Still on autopilot mode, huh? How about it? Should we wake up, Chingyi? Uh... Yeah, wake up. Chingyi, wake up. Uh, is that the manager I hear? Taking a little break did help me feel much better. You seem kinda tired. Are you okay? Uh, it had been too long since I last shut down. 
and my processors were being occupied with redundant data. That's all. It matters not. I've been keeping watch over the suspicious vehicle we identified last time and finally caught evidence of it entering and exiting the Cretan Hollow. I've applied for personnel and carrots from public security. Once the approval goes through, we can go find Teddy. Okay, no, we're not locked. Okay, so doy. Excuse me for interrupting. I, I thought I saw a public security officer heading this way. Ah, oh, you must be Officer Ching Yi. Our little Holly has really caused you trouble lately. As Holly's father, Victor, he handed Haji a brand new bamboo. What is this for? I'm so sorry. Kids don't understand. To trouble public security over such a matter is really making too much of a fuss. If it was lost, it's lost. That bangboo was old anyway. I thought I might as well buy a new one for Holly this time. Just reset the bangboo and give it to her. You can tell her you found Teddy and that'll be the end of all this. Uh... Are you sure? Holly must have really cherished Teddy. Right. Please trust that- Oh, wait a minute. I understand, if that's what you wish. Huh? Ching Yi, why the sudden. The pen officer silently said the brand new Teddy and Hollow's father leaves the pursuing. He sure left in a hurry. Are we giving up on rescuing Teddy? So, what's our next step, Ching Yi? Are we giving up on rescuing Teddy? I mean, the real Teddy. He's just a father worried about his daughter. No need to argue over the details of the investigation with him. Moreover, I just received a message indicating that it's unclear whether this Teddy number two will be able to help. So, I've decided to handle it this way for now. Wait, Jing Yi. What's really going on? Yes, the approval didn't come through. Bing Boo can't be classified as people. It can't be handled as a missing persons case, only as a theft. So we can't get approval for extra personnel or a carrot. This means the rescue operation in the hollow will inevitably be delayed. And by then, Teddy's chances will be quite slim. Hmm. Um, uh, but the idea from Holly's father is just too cruel. But the idea from Holly's father is just too cruel. I never said we were abandoning the real Teddy. It's just that bringing the real Teddy back in one piece isn't very realistic. You haven't forgotten, have you? The biggest advantage of intelligent machines is replaceability. If an arm breaks, just attach a new one. If the body is damaged beyond repair, just get a new one. But what if we can't afford it? As long as we can retrieve the most core memory chip. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. No wonder you're the public security's intelligent system. You see things from a different angle. Master, stay calm. If you can't remain composed, then allow me to pour a bucket of cold cybernetic water over you. This what? plan has a flaw. Teddy is a model from eight years ago, and there are aesthetic differences from this year's latest model. It seems Officer Ching Yi's AI system requires further iteration for thoroughness. That's not a problem. The difference between the Bang Boo isn't that big. Just some modifications to make it look similar to the older version should do. Hmm. Fairy, no need to always try to prove you're better. Okay, Fairy. No need to try to prove you're better. Please search for the specific differences between the old and new versions of the Bang Boo. Understood. Scanning the blog. OMG, is there anything cuter than the old Bang Boo models? I just wanna hug it to death. Result 1. The old version of the Bang Boo has a super chubby tubby tummy. Am I the only one who loves its tummy? Result 2. The old version of the Bang Boo is super duper cute the way it sputters with its mechanical kinetic core. Result 3. Wah. The previous version <laughs> the of the Bang Boo clearly had more emotes. I miss those. <laughs> Why should go wah on that? That's hilarious. Based on the results extracted from the blog, we can modify the new Bang Boo's appearance based on these three points to perfectly replicate the old version of Teddy. It never occurred to me before, but some things are better written than read out loud. Thanks, Barry. Okay. You're very welcome. I am a smart voice assistant dedicated to showing you different perspectives. In that case, the task at hand is quite clear. Let's start modifying Teddy number two. I guess we'll do it now. So I could act like either that guy or either those two people? Like, who's the other person? Wait, I can ask these guys to do it. Oh, I can ask. Uh, is this who I think it is? <gasps> no, let's ask who is that. I haven't seen in a while. Hey, Susie, do you mind talking to you? 
Come be sad as I'll check it out. Yeah, that's why. Right. Not that person, you're always potent. Oh, that would be a say. But any PC doesn't have to die as the company assistant. Uh, I really like the writing, but I already heal. I'll read the review film before saying that you guys out here have pressure based on the battle experience. Is that right? Oh, you mean that? Sure, that's the service we do. Have you still got all emoji for eight years ago, though? As long as you're thinking, we can do it, and actually, we can even do more. This is the first time you ever heard about the hidden impression of, of Calibri bamboo facial expression. Who knew it was you? Emojis? Anything fun? Do I generally read really the emotions? Aren't they all insulated? Um, that was some really good acting when you knock on the door before. I mean, otherwise, Citizen had no idea that I'm a judging machine, but why would you act like I'm not in front of your manager? The best study, the MK. Heals emojis to those for me, use skills back. How the sergeant. Okay, now we'll. Oh, wait, we're still doing more? Okay, let's talk to these guys. I gotta talk to Bai. It's easy to make the bank jump here. Just buy the bank with a pill kit. It's a piece of cake, and you can make fully on the to any bank appearance. I want you to find the order of the from your store. Here's the order number. Uh, yes, we got it. Please, wait a sec. I'll fetch that from the warehouse for you. You got the bamboos repair kit. It takes a lot of work to stuff Teddy's K2 into the repair kit. Now I'll just let you out, we won't do the rest. I run barely like a much cuter. Well, even though it's already cute to begin with. Now that I think about it, the humans always seem to learn towards being quiet when designing intelligent machines. I think you're always very quiet too. Thanks for coming. I never really noticed that I was being designed to be quiet as well. I'm sure as I'm sure I'm pretty happy with my current body. Maybe the test of the function though. I mean, your thighs, but the boobas, I don't know. The bamboo pearl kai couple is just curvy tummy malfunction for Teddy MK2. Okay, we got one more, we'll talk to this guy. I'd have to be separate, like you choose which one, but I guess we're doing it all at once. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hey, Enzo. Welcome! Oh, it's Officer Jing Ying! Mr. Enzo, you said it's required with the case of ours. Uh, guys, how could this occur? There's nothing to worry about. Do you need to be replaced with the color code on this bamboo or all the missing version? Oh, you got great taste. I actually brought a slight log of this used in the old models. I'm afraid the price is not available really anymore. Um, how about using a copy of some other couple instead? Oh, go to it. was any question with the high particular. The driver sells the gears. There are some things that once seen can never be unseen. These are the really sights wide open. Enzo skillfully instead the model machine call into Teddy, Teddy MK2's classes. The plugger plays the size logging session that's over used to have. Great, that's another super of revenue for the store. As I know, a lot of people who have log. I'm kinda surprised the bamboo core is a lot slaughter left to slide in this chest, just like mine, I think. But an emergency transfer and because of gravity is perfect, it's far more larger for it to be smacked in the middle. The human's heart is also located there. It's easy though humans are always projected so even the machine to design. Today MK2 the core has been modified. Okay. Does the sun watch a bill want to be the to father? Guess to him too. I tap between the rocks in a hard work place. If you pretty much all done, please come back. We'll fly out here. On my way! Oh shit! That's there's a lot of people. What the hell's going on? What do you mean? Oh, I see only one person here. I mean, there's Holly. Officer Chingy, I just saw you and the video store manager on the street, so I thought I'd. What? Is that Teddy? You found Teddy already. Yes, how excited was she to pick up Teddy? Yes, she seems to many seas do the adult roots. This isn't Teddy! Uh, officer, did you... Did you find the wrong bamboo? Are you sure, Holly? Yeah, I'm sure! Teddy is my closest friend, and I would never mistake him. Teddy's ears should have a dent here from when he tried to protect me from falling one time. And Teddy's bottom should have glue on it from when I was little. The glue was stuck so strong that it wouldn't wash off. Officer Chingy, was it because you couldn't find Teddy? So, so you. We actually, f we totally fixed it, even cleaned the glue, and you wanted to keep it in. You didn't tell us that. It appears that you remember everything about Teddy, Holly. Listen, it's all because this rookie public security officer here trusted the wrong information, and we got the wrong Bing Boo. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, it's 
my fault. Let's not forget that I'm a very experienced public security officer, and that I wouldn't make such a rudimentary mistake. From here on out, I will be taking over the case personally, and will definitely find Teddy. Really? Yes, really. So, we'll be busy now continuing this investigation. Can you return home on your own, Holly? Yes! So then I can hold the dry tears and goes home. What a sharp child. Even if they look nearly identical, and even if we could retrieve Teddy's memory, Teddy number two would still be a completely different Bing Boo to Holly. Hmm, the most treasured moments in life are those shared experiences that cannot be replaced. The most treasured moments in life are those shared experiences that cannot be replicated. Okay. I'm gonna say the last part. Like I've always said, Humans are indeed an interesting species. Thank you for helping me cover up the lie just now. The next step is to venture into the hollow to rescue the Bang Boo. It'll be much too dangerous for you, manager. I'll figure something out by myself. See you later. I got a Bang Boo! I, I got to go in person, I'm gonna just go there with my Bang Boo and else. I mean, that's not his name. Well, I've been busy this dude the whole time. How things going with you? The MK2 operation failed. As hell. That's so. I guess we have to go into the hollow and find it ourselves then. I wonder if Tenji will have to handle things solo. All we're doing is wait for her to go back to us. Yep. It's also gonna be serious time, but she still hasn't replied. Just as Sylvie begins to exit the door, knocked on the door. Hello. Sorry about you. It's supposed to keep the community service. That's really. Is that you, Koji? Have you been tracking down some clues that you're supposed to get back to us? Why? Have you been worried this sick? Go check in what Sylvie's up to. Okay. I've been watching you on my phone. The store class is not that long as the others, actually. I mean, it could be once we did the hollow. We open the door, you realize that it's not crunching. Huh? Hello, got a problem? A call NPC is a pure to pure community sister as you're supposed to. I'm in the duty officer. Uh, we book with Kanchi, though. Oh, here's the thing. Actually, is taking a leave today. She said she got some important posts that failed to attend to. And you gonna leave? I'm kind of surprised that she's taking days off too. Yeah, that's what it's If it wants to interview, you can also talk to me. I'll take care of it just the same. What about Zing Yen? You seem to know Kali Fiona was in our particular. She has been carrying out the important options for quite a long time and hasn't been back to the prison since. I see, it's just that we've been talking about to Kochi all this time, so we put the wind to she's back. Oh, is that how it is? Oh, but once also Kochi is back at work, I'll work with her. I just tried contacting Qin Yi again, but still no reply. I've got a bad feeling about this. Could it be that she entered the hollow without getting a, a carrot approved? Do you think she went into the hollow alone without getting approved for a carrot? Fairy, quickly search internet for any posts that might have been made by Qin Yi. Search complete. There is a suspicious post. The content is as follows. Esteemed proxies. I wish to hereby notify you of a Bangbu Rescue Commission in the Cretan Hollow. Based on data analysis and pattern recognition results, the rescue target is likely in the T8AE32 area. Any interested parties may leave a message. Details to be discussed in person. Meeting face-to-face -face can effectively advance the work progress. Data analysis and pattern recognition? Along with that old-fashioned tone? It's definitely Ching Yi. Bad news. There have been no responses to the post from any proxy, and the last message was posted by the author 13 minutes ago saying, I have arrived near the hollow. Just checking one last time. If there are no takers for the job, then so be it. Bro, if we hurry straight to the target area mentioned in the post, we might still make it in time. Yeah, there's no time to lose. Yeah, there's no time to lose. Yep, time to run it in. Give me fire, but look, my claws are strong. Sorry, President, I can't use you. Interfere the baby kid that's behind us and say Teddy. <gasps> I'm in a show just saying Teddy! Oh, Teddy! If Deliz plays this. Oh, just thinking bye. Master, I have located Officer Ching Yi. Huh, a familiar Bang Boo indeed. We meet again, Faithin. As the number one wanted proxy on Internet. Isn't it a bit careless of you to take the job? Um, this can't be helped. It's a job for public security after all. Can't be helped. It's a job from public security after all. Think of it as banking some goodwill for future favors. Hmm? What? Did you know it was a job from public security when you accepted it? To be honest, Officer Ching Yi, your post on internet was way too obvious. So it was too obvious, which is why nobody signed up for this gig. 
Then why would Faith and... No. Could you actually be a decent person? Uh, it wouldn't hurt to say something nice without sounding completely shocked. It wouldn't hurt to say something nice without sounding completely shocked. Very well. I suppose it's only fair to show a bit of courtesy now that I require your assistance. The situation is this. I'm tracking a vehicle related to the case, and have found traces that could belong to that car. I need a proxy for navigation inside the hollow. Please assist me with my investigation. Okay. The suspicious vehicle we were staking out was last seen here. All traces of suspicious activity must be investigated. Compared to the legal investigation activities registered by the HIA, everything else counts as suspicious activity. I'm sending the coordinates to you now. Yeah, thanks for that. Now, let's go down this way. Okay. Master, high ether activity detected coming from this forklift. This matches the evidence previously collected by Officer Chingyi. Oh. A forklift? They're not exactly a rare sight in the hollows. But how should I put this? This particular forklift seems to be giving its own game away. It seems to be screaming, I'm just a totally normal abandoned forklift. I'm not blocking anything at all. Hmm. The food that gives up the strongly sus five. Oh my god, even this game is a sus too? What is going on with this game? Should we check it out? Or maybe we should give something elsewhere. Speaking of which, what did you mean by recalling your request question? Follow Kanchi and keep searching. Yeah, sure. Proxy? Master. Unknown distress signal detected. Analysis complete. The distress signal is coming from a bang boom. A route Ooh. to the source of the distress signal has been identified. Yeah. Officer, we've detected a bang boom search and rescue signal. You certainly know what you're doing. So if you can, Officer Grandma. So infuriating. Slow down. Respecting your elders is a virtue. Can't you jog? Or oh, just walking? Oh no. Gotta go up again. Here they go. Whee! Oop. I think I just heard a click. But nothing happened? The ejector failed to launch. Oh, the recklessness of youth. Not to worry. I'll fix it. Don't go running off, Proxy. The source is just up ahead. Go wait for Chingy over there, Wise. Uh... Yeah, sure, I'm just looking for coins. Collecting coins is my specialty. Okay. Really? This is strange. The signal should have been coming from here. Teddy, is that you? Uh, this is not something I'll tell you over the other baby man by. Fairly helps to pinpoint the kitchen and you finally find a broken bamboo head under a pile of trash. Bing Bong's here! The bamboo boonapper strike again! Is someone there? Is someone here? I already said it! I'm Bing Bong from the Bang Boo Boo Nappers! Oh, what do we have here? A little Bang Boo that can talk! <laughs> Don't see that every day! Uh, gonna be sure to nab this one! Speaking of which, that emergency signal device that we took off of Bang Boo, <laughs> it is really coming in handy! Seems any Bang Boo would fall for it! Something's off about this guy. Let's get out of here and find Jingyi. <gasps> You're not going anywhere! Your property of the Bang Boo Boo Nappers now! Here! Have a taste of the special Bang Boo Spray! The beef, your vision goes dark. Huh? What happened? Uh, everything suddenly went black! Did we lose the connection with Eos? Bro, are you okay? My eyes, they really hurt just now. My eyes... started to sting all of a sudden. Your eyes? I'm fine now, no way, but we need to check on Eos. Don't worry, I'm okay now. But let's check on Eos. I wonder what could have happened. Barry, can you still connect to Eos? Hurry! After disconnecting, I've sent 28 reconnection requests. All have failed. Now attempting to use a backup line. Eos! I have successfully connected via the backup line, but the transmission is extremely unstable. It appears that the communication system has been severely damaged. However, the communication signal between EOS and Qingyi hasn't been damaged. Do you wish to bridge a connection via EOS to connect to Qingyi? To prevent Master's identity from being exposed, 
I can add a heavy voice masking effect for both of you. However, uh, there is still a 43% chance of you being recognized by Officer Ching Yi. What's your decision, Master? Uh, let's save Eos. We have to save Eos. Understood. Bridging a connection to Ching Yi via Eos. Ching Yi, can you hear me? Oh? Has the connection been restored? That's faith in for you. Don't worry. I've arrived at the location of the emergency signal. I'll be sure to rescue your Bang Boo. I'll need him to get out of this hollow. I don't want to become an ethereal. Eh, uh, you'll be fine. Yep. Come save us! We'll be punched to death! You know what I was on about? I should have built Clyder last night, but nope, I would have sleep. I was too tired, you know. I'm grinding out the Keltus. Oh. That kind of staff to use. Hey, you Officer fuckers! Here. Yeah, watch Let's me swing more than once. Oh, okay. Swing! Let's keep oh my god, that's so much fun! So I let go, it does that. That's a lot of swings! Why are they all over? Will they be dead already? Did you keep hitting them? She's crazy! Jeez! It's like we're in Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Swing. Don't do that. Yeah, let's go. Where's the bamboo? Oh. Now you go. Swing. And bam! Damn, that's insane! Oh my goodness! Damn, it's all around. Huh? And let go. Okay, Rina! I should've picked one legend, but no, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay. me, Ellen. That was a shock to death. Okay. Big guy. She's swinging, she's swinging, she's swinging. Damn, it's like overpowered. Almost, you know. Yeah. Ready and waiting. Good readings. Out of the way. Swing your spear. The suspect has given up and surrendered. But put your hands up, bitch. Our police. Uh, no! I've had enough. Please, go easy on me, officer. Anyway, <laughs> what's a public security officer doing around here? Is it really worth all the trouble to come after a little resale business like ours? Incorrect. At this moment, I am not a public security officer. Now, tell me, or you'll get a taste of this pepper spray. Uh, I mean, special Bing Boo spray. No, wait! No, 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 that, that is not pepper spray! It's a, it's a concentrated ether solution. Please, let me go! <laughs> you everything concentrated ether solution eos that's right the person you just heard is a fellow public security investigator a heinous crime wait officer i had no idea i would dare do such a thing <laughs> uh, wait didn't you just say you weren't from public security then explain why did you attack a bang boo where is your base how did you carry out the crime I'm confusing I think Baby is, is divisive and turns himself in. I see. So you would use the concentrated ether solution to instantly corrupt the Bang Boo and cause its systems to malfunction, disrupting communication, self recovery modules, and other functions. If that's the case, then Teddy wouldn't be able to send out a distress signal to public security. But kidnapping Bang Boo just to dismantle them and sell off the parts? How could he have embarked on such an unreliable path of crime? By the way, how is your Bang Boo doing? Hmm? Uh, how's Eos? How is Eos? Uh, nah. He doesn't appear to have any cosmetic damage, He's but so it seems like his intelligence has suffered a drop. I want to buy him as a plushie. Master, I have both good news and bad news. Bad! Tell me first. Tell me the bad news first. Exactly, Bill. Tell me. EOS is only capable of basic communication for the time being. 
The module for collecting hollow data has been damaged by 87%. Please do not use it. As for the good news, there is no more bad news. That's oh, it. Teddy has already been sprayed with the ether spray for several days. If we don't hurry, there will be no hope of saving him. According to Bing Bong's account, there's still a whole pile of stolen Bing Boo in their hideout. We've detained Bing Bong, but if we don't act now, it'll alert the others. But no matter what, we must continue the rescue. What do you think, Faithen? Agree, but Eos has been damaged. Uh, they go. Agreed. But Eos has been damaged. What should we do? Officer Ching Yi, I believe it is time to use that technology. If you know what I mean. We sprung from the same stock. What need each the other fry? An AI calculating an AI. But it is a good idea. You mean that technology, right? Very well. Let's proceed. Very well. Let's proceed. Wait, you AIs! Mind explaining what you're talking about in human language? Affirmative. Translating communication into language that can be understood by humans using distributed computing. A portion of EOS's functions can be installed onto Officer Ching Yi's system. Sorry, I'm still not catching on. Understood. I will attempt to explain EOS and Ching Yi's distributed computing technology in layman's terms. You will use sensory sync with Officer Ching Yi. By using distributed computing, you can immediately restore the ability to search the hollow as long as we can maintain stable communication. The risk of using this technology is that Officer Ching Yi will also be affected by EOS's ether corruption. Oh, but it matters not. Hmm. So maybe those two. No, just don't overdo it. Just don't overdo it, Ching Yi. Don't worry. I'm a 01 NG6 criminal investigation automaton. It's my duty to save every citizen of New Eridu. I'm not such a fragile existence like humans. Isn't that right, little Bing Boo? Oh. I've granted you access to my interface, AI. Let's start the sync. Understood. Initiating sensory sync. All right. She's just floating in the air. Packaging distributed virtual interface. HDD unidirectional control on standby. Activate the connection. Ooh, triple that. That's amazing. Eos country disappearing has been activated. Now, since it was with Chichi's sensory system. Anyway, the secret passage is right here. Let me give it a scan first. Sure enough, here it is. Looks like Bing Bong wasn't lying after all. Ooh, I'm just being her for now then. I mean, that works. That's not gonna hurt. Hey, right there. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, it's a shark boo. The chance of it being Teddy is... The light was shot boo. It's not Teddy. It's not Teddy. It's not Teddy. All you can do is play. Master, your powers of deduction know no bounds. The identity of this shark boo cannot be ascertained, but it is not Teddy. Okay. Does bamboo boo not work for rather extreme when to throw that shark boo doesn't come in video? Sure, what they can expect it or let it, let it be to ourselves. Uh. Let's see. This is saying to drop our proxy. This shark boost chassis is covered in vicious scratches from being stripped down. Non-living components will not transform into ethereals. Reminder, please do not be lulled into a false sense of security by the seemingly cute name of the Bamboo Boonappers. Okay, uh, link this job for officer. Hmm, it's all in a day's work for a public security officer. Proxy, I suggest you turn away. I don't want your bang boo to see what happens next. Oh, is this a memory chip? <laughs> Criminals always say, dead men tell no tales, silencing witnesses to cover up their crimes. The data's been recovered. Access my mind space and I'll share it with you. Okay.
They've used the shark bill as a switch to open up the secret passage. Eleven... Twenty-eight. Enter the passcode and then shout, Open Sesame! Reminder, there is a 99% probability of finding clues on the shark boost chassis. Yeah, sure. They've used the shark boo as a switch to open up the secret passage. Just what exactly did those uncivilized thugs take intelligent constructs for? I thought the kind of criminal syndicate that would take in the likes of Bing Bong would lack the intelligence to be capable of causing any serious trouble. But it appears that thought was rather naive. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Factoring in all the intel, the shark boot has been copied into the switch for a secret passage. Perfectly suspect the shark boot up to of secret patches. Uh, sticking here in the shark bamboo's mouth. Although you fell victim to the shark boo's reflexive bite, fortunately, it has resulted in the discovery of the switch for the secret passage. Press it to open up the passage. Okay. Uh, okay. So, do I just press you? No, okay. I think I'm good then. But with the sticker of the bamboo's belly. There are four distorted numbers etched beneath the sticker. It's probably not the passcode for the secret passage. Is this the passcode for the secret passage? It seems to be the passcode for the secret passage. Agreed. Officer Ching Yi is absolutely correct. Engaging in criminal activity with this level of intellect is vastly overconfident. Mm -hmm. Oh, I finished. We've pieced together the clues. Time to exit. Yeah, yeah, I already know about this. Enter the passcode to the secret passage to open it. You... you haven't forgotten it, have you, Proxy? Mm-hmm. I remember the passcode. It's... Open Green Pea. Green Pea. Um, okay. But look at all this. Oh, look at anyway, the they're warming. So, so many things blue. And they all need rescuing. How does an officer look at just walking around here? I don't have enough? You serious? Why I fight you for coins? Nah, we good. So I just said, oh, oh there's coins here. There are coins here. Oh. It's still conscious. Hold on. Please note, the following information is not suitable for Bangboo. For okay. the sake of Eos's well-being, I have changed dismantling to petting and vital signs to final baseline. Please forgive me for any difference in semantics. This Bangboo seems to have been petted inhumanely, losing its final baseline and leaving behind nothing more than its chassis. Just okay. like the shark boo earlier, yet another one. How inhumane. Committing crimes against Bing Boo, one after the other, all so they can take their bodies for their own and flip them for a profit. Oh, human desire, how could you have ever become so twisted? It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. Yeah, sure. Uh, hold on a sec. Does the corner be? Wait a minute. So you're telling me there's like one. Okay, let's open this. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. You won't catch me. So there's a coin right here. Okay. Uh, my guess is. This door needs a key. Let's go find it. I'm guessing it's probably... You okay? Why is this Bing Boo's face twitching like that? Why? It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. Master, scans have detected a non-corrupted and conscious avocado. It has tried to lie down flat, but has instead been rocking back and forth by 0.5 millimeters at an incredibly high frequency. Hypothesis. The avocado tried to play dead, but ended up exposing itself in its state of panic. 
I am Officer Chingyi. You're safe now, Avakabu. Hmm? Why is it shaking even more now? Could it be that it snuck into this hollow without permission, and now it's even more panicked? Uh, determined to play dead. I probably means I'm looping about what you say. Yeah, but you're terrible. Uh, uh, I'm not a bad bamboo. You got the one boo. I came here to say son. My friend let you pass me here, bad guy in the hollow, and they eat. We're here to say everyone. I just want to. To meet the guys, the exit well, the extra boo, you know, brought everyone back out, but it's been so long and they haven't. <laughs> I want to go find them too, but the electrical boo told me I had to stay here and open the exit. No we can get out of the key in the photo get lost. Take avocado with you, once the final is to catch the back end from the play the bamboo, it's ever alpha handle with the spray can and by safety vial. Oh, he got it. Okay. Open. I gotta fight him. Oh, he's being blocked. You bitch! Get over here! Now we'll kick some ass. This one isn't that bad, actually. Fuck him up. Wanna survive? Nah, not really. You're dead. Who next? <laughs> really? I could have done all with this stuff. <laughs> nah, keep swinging. <laughs> now swing my ice body. <laughs> no. You're frozen. This is in. Check this. Into your face! What in the cock? Aha, uh -huh, we broke it with my nunchuck spear, I'll just call it that. Alright, that's done. What do we got? Hey, nice. Okay, we got that done. The corruption isn't obvious, but I've almost used up all my power. Don't worry too much about your friend, Avakabu. It'll wake up once it gets out and is all charged up. Link up to the Electroboo and read its memory chip. Okay. The chip was about to run out power and is in bad shape. With his ill called bent belly, it's close to special belief that it's all called the world down from overuse. Leaking to an electro boot. Okay. Ah, it's the POV of Electro Boo. Looks like we've successfully accessed its memory. It shocked its way through the door lock using high voltage. That's no small feat. This is deep inside the Boonapper's base. It's huge. There are the guards, just as expected. <sighs> I heard something. Huh? What's the Bang Boo doing here? Is it an escapee? Don't move! Huh? I think I just saw the silhouette of a Shark Boo. Let me investigate. What's Hang this? on. There was a shark bill among all those bang boo. Let me just check if it's Teddy. Is it? This is the old Martian boo with a small tin the eel. There's a bamboo boo stuck in the butt. In the ass and can be peeled off. Is this Sandy Hollow? Teddy has a nick on his ear from when he was protecting Holly once. And there's glue on his butt that Holly stuck there when she was just a kid. It's Teddy. We did it! The corruption is starting to show now. We have to hurry! Okay. Now that we know where Teddy is, how can we get in there? Pretty close, you play. We can't let any of our bank boo get away! This guy really knows how to fight. Incredible! You're not the boss finds out about this! You'll talk my pay for a month! Yeah, I'll Go down! <laughs> oh! Nowhere to run now. Trying to squeeze your way through? Oh, why you unscrupulous little bang you? 
You'll never make it out. Just give up. Go down. And where's it going? Ah! The big boo are escaping! Boss! Ah! Why you? What do you think you're doing? Shouting for the boss over this? The data's been corrupted. Go and manually recover it at the Electra Boo's last known where the Electra Boo should still be mobile. If I'm not mistaken, we can follow it in, and we should run into it while it is making its escape. There's still some information missing. Keep looking for the last part. Huh. The data has been recovered. We can unlock the next memory now. Oh, what? Keep playing. This should be the Electra Boo's memory of when it was attacked. Oh, the shock Bing Boo have started to come too. He's beating them silly, but they're still trying to run off. Oh, big boss. <laughs> if you're not going to do this the easy way. We'll have to do it the hard way. Oh yeah, there he is. So that must be the boss. This thug is their boss. He's both stronger and smarter than any of the thugs we've run into so far. Well, he's at least 0.73% better. Look, the gloves that 0.73% guy used to pick up the Electro Boo are completely scorched. Meaning, we can trace his fingerprints and uncover his true identity. Turns out that 0.73% guy is no joke. He's a fugitive suspect in three criminal investigations. No wonder he hasn't been caught. Has he been laying low in the hollows all this time? <laughs> Well, seeing as you're so keen to come down to the precinct, don't blame me if I show you no mercy next time we see each other. What is it, Dick? The Electro Boo converts its last remnants of strength into electricity and releases it. Mm -hmm. Here's the entrance, Wise. That's pretty much all of the info. We can head back now. Yep, get out of here. So it's just... The Electro Boo has been a real help. Let's head over to the secret passage. Oh shit. Teddy should be right here. It's that 0.73% guy. Take him out and we can rescue Teddy. Uh, waiting. It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. Okay, go to side. Why not? She's probably like, wait, why are you walking around here? Well, it's called trying to find secrets, if you don't mind. Uh. Out of the way! I'm in a hurry! <laughs> okay, she just talked to instantly. Okay, that's open. Fuck off! I told you, I'm in a hurry! Anyways. It's completely destroyed. Let's take it out once the rescue is over. Anyways, hey, big boss! I'm gonna kick your ass. Where is the big boy, huh? We fought like how many times? It's oh, pressure. So high. Target is just up ahead. Can you keep going? I'm fine. Saving Teddy is what's important. You got your maze too. <laughs> Not just by yourself. <laughs> Back. Amazing. Get your ass over here. Go on. Go on. Hey, get your ass over here. I dare you. I dare you. And swing. That's a lot better. Okay. Are you heading up? Big boss is probably right there. Wait, are you actually made it this far? Oh, there he is. What's this? An elite enemy? Now things are starting to get a bit tricky. Nevertheless, I'm still going to get all of the civilians out of here. None left behind. Can you help you? Got you right hand. Bad move. Clear out. Oh, yes. 
Double it. Here we go. Get ready. You're done. Got you? I broke your dick. Now what? Oh wait, this is my heal. Oh, I'm trying to talk to it. There you go. I'm just. Less than 50 meters. The hollow exit is just up ahead. I'm just laying down. How does she carry on? That's crazy. Thingy. Do you copy? Can you make it? <sighs> Humans. Such an interesting species. These aren't living creatures. Yet they won't abandon them. No matter what. Damn, this she's carrying all that. Like she's Santa Claus. And suffering. Uh, is that what life truly is? How far seeing as he is Zeus are saying, Oh! I saved the children. Thanks to Finn's contract, contact Xinyu and Seth over inside the rescue the faint Xinyu and Bang Boo. The severe cruelty of Xinyu and others are all sent to maintenance and cleaning. It took several days for the to send him. Yeah, and the food knock on the door. Sure enough, it's Kangi. Three strikes and you're done, right? We've already had public security's help three times now. Why don't we just skip today? You misunderstand. I'm just here to express my gratitude. You two upstanding citizens helped me investigate the missing Bing Boo case. Thank you. Teddy was repaired and I took him to Holly. It was quite moving to see them reunited. Hmm. It's really not necessary. No need to be so polite, Chin Ye. We didn't do much, so there's really no need to thank us. Right. If it weren't for Chin Ye, then we could have easily lost Eos. Huh? What was that you were saying? Oh. <laughs> I... I just wanted to ask how you've recovered, Ching Yi. My body is fine, of course. After some maintenance, I'm feeling even better than before. If anything, the real headache is that Ju Yuan and her constant nagging about how reckless we were. Ju Yuan is probably just hoping that you'll take better care of yourself. Actually, I'm not a person who doesn't look after myself. I've always known how important I am. It's just that as automatons, our views on life are quite different from those of humans. In the end, the purpose of intelligent machines is to be discarded in place of humans when danger arises. However, you could say I felt a certain weight inside the hollow this time. So, what hap What do you mean by weight? Huh? What do you mean by weight? Did you pick up something heavy? Well, I guess I could say that I understood the weight of life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've been affected by humans somehow. Actually, it doesn't matter if we're talking about a Bang Boo or you, Chingy. We've never thought of you as something that could just be discarded in a moment of danger. Right, both of you are important in a pinnacle partners. Right. Both of you are important and irreplaceable partners. A friendly reminder, Master. If you are handing out compliments, then please, don't forget Fairy. <laughs> I suppose this is a similar feeling to what happened inside the hollow. Oh, come on, Chingy. You're holding out on us. You haven't said anything about what actually happened there. If you're so curious, then perhaps you'd be interested in applying to become an assistant public security officer. Um, I'll pad. I'll be interested in community service. Join public security? As cool as that sounds, the community service work is way too... <laughs> Speaking of which, after Ju Yen heard the whole story, she decided to put the plan to completely abolish Internaut on hold for now. As for the local community services, unfortunately that will become a standardized project in the future. It's a real headache. By the way, I also brought the horror movies I rented for community service last time. I figured now would be the best time to return them. I felt like the scenes where someone was possessed really resonated with me. Hmm. Oh, what do you mean? Oh? What do you mean? How would an intelligent machine empathize with that? Can you show a profound expression on her face? For a moment, it seemed as if something flashed through her eyes. Was it a blue circle? Um, luckily, Eos is out running errands. Luckily, Eos is out running errands. Huh? When did you get here? Eos, uh, I mean, Bang Boo Zero One? Oh no. The feeling of being possessed is indeed unbearable, but it 
It really does seem to make you stronger, doesn't it? Yeah. They're really cute though, I want one. Do Ailes really just happen to come about at that moment? I really want if she knows about us. I really want to know if she knows or not, but who knows? Okay, so I'm just going to bell now for the end this. Yes, we are. Don't even think about it, guys. I said she wants to expose, but she has done it by now. True, there's no way for it. <laughs> what a way to end that. Alright, I'm gonna bell. Last subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.